coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Hello, I'm Jermaine Gallagher. This is, uh, this is my home in uh, central London in Borough. Borough Bankside, I believe is the proper name. It's a local, this is a very sort of local, lovely central London neighbourhood. And I've been living here for um, 12 years. I got this flat when I was 21. It was always a bit of a party flat, I know. <laughs> Much to my neighbour's dismay and horror. This flat is a very typical London tenement flat. So it's a one bedroom, single person's flat but you have to wait a long time to get one of these flats. And I was very, very, very lucky when I came out of art school to have got it. And I didn't have a cooker for more than two years. I used to boil noodles in the kettle. I remember a friend coming around one day and being like, God, that's so sad. There's <laughs> some noodles at the bottom of the kettle. And I've really grown into this place as I've grown up. And I've only just grown up, so I'm ready to <laughs> I think we've arrived. <laughs> This cooker is called a Leamington Flavel. In fact, it's in the Museum of the Home in London. It's so old. It's got a plate warmer at the top, this lovely original grill. This is a shop I had in Soho on Porn Alley, and I just got really bored because no customers came in the shop ever. I used to do lino cuts of <laughs> what was around me, so that's a lino cut that I did. And this little table, this was a whole table, and when we go into the bedroom, you'll see the other half, but I just cut it in half. But I only live on my own, so it's quite nice with just one. Just have a little coffee or a little kind of plate of food when you're on your own. It makes you feel less lonely when you've sat at a small table. <laughs> so this is the grand hallway. I chose the colours in the hallway when I was very bored and during lockdown. Cherry ready colour. And then on the ceiling is this sort of azure blue. And then behind that, where the mirrors are, is like an orange wall. And it's full of, oh, I think, rather good art. And uh, I love chains. So there's lots of chain <laughs> scary looking things in the hallway. So you've got that. And that is an old meat hook, actually. Uh, these floorboards are all original. So when I moved into the flat, they were like, oh, don't worry, we're gonna put a carpet down. This will all be gone. I was like, no, 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 please just leave the floorboards. These flats were built in 1889. So they're kind of early Victorian, actually. So they are, no, late Victorian. <laughs> they're quite old. And it has quite great thick walls. So you've got these kind of, I don't know, it feels like you're going into something, which you are. <laughs> This is in my sitting room. If these walls could talk, we've had some real fun in this room and still do to this very day. Everything has its place. Everything has to have its place because it's so small, particularly because it's a basement flat. A lot of people live in basement flats, especially in London. It's quite a thing. So I think English design, I think it's quite grungy and I think it has a kind of idiosyncratic charm about it that perhaps just makes it specifically English. The first thing I did when I got this flat was um, me and a friend uh, got a takeaway pizza and we got quite drunk and painted one of the walls with oil pastels. And it's next to the window because uh, as you can see, there's not much of a view. I just sort of see the, <laughs> see the bottoms of people's feet and tires and things like that. So I just thought it gave it a nice bit of color. And then just sort of added touches. I mean, this thing that I'm sitting on here is actually a rug and I got it at a famous antique market called Arding Lye, which is in Sussex. Um, and so it's two sun motifs uh, and it just fitted this day bed perfectly. That, I love that because that reminds me of me and my cat, Rita. The zigzag candlestick is what my whole zigzag collection was based on because that's the first thing I bought at a market to sell and I didn't sell it because I thought it was so good and I remember thinking, God, everyone should have these in their homes. I like how prehistoric they are. Probably one of the first motifs of man sort of pattern, isn't it? Somebody going, you do as a child without even thinking about it. And there's something quite churlish about them and fun, punky. This mirror, I just tried to make a focal point. It's all pieced together, really. It's a small room. I mean, I, I kind of think mirrors are amazing. They're like magic. They're like magician's trick on making things look bigger and it does work. Music is very important to me. When I first moved in the flat, I, my neighbour, who's an absolute, I can't say what he is, but annoyingly, I can't play it as loud as I'd like. Um, yeah, lots of kind of Mark Armand, very London records. I like kind of 80s music. This is my trinket um, shelf. These are all my lovely insects and a snake, which are probably gonna eat them up. Just lovely things I found, this lovely rabbit tin. It's weird, I don't like clutter, but that's probably as cluttered as it's gonna get. I say that now, give me 10 years and it'll be absolutely chocolate. My dining area, I like that table because it's uh, what my friend would describe as shh, it just sort of evaporates. You can't have everything screaming. You know, you've got to have some pieces of furniture that are just like, just quiet. So that's the shushy corner. I'm not like one of those people that's, what, if something breaks or I lose something, I'm not going to cry over it. You know, it's like things come in and out of your life. But at the moment, this is what's in my life. Yeah, let me take to the bedroom. <laughs> Everybody likes that phrase. Come on, Ray. <laughs> this is Rita, my cat Rita. Off you go, please. I'm getting it all dirty. 
welcome to my bedroom. This room doesn't have much of a view. Probably has a better view in uh, than it does out. <laughs> I've definitely been caught in a few situations in here. <laughs> I kind of made this sort of whole area like a little nooky area. I actually painted it wet on the sitting room floor and I put a kind of wooden tracking all the way around the top. So when the curtains are closed, you're in this kind of, kind of woomy little corner. And um, I decided that I wanted to paint moon people and moon cats with all pastels and stayed up really late doing that, which was great fun. The mirror was gifted by a friend of mine, Maddie. She makes incredible hats, so uh, on top of the wardrobe uh, are my big collection of hats. I always buy one off her and I always ask one for my birthday, because I really like wearing hats. That's the other half of the table that I showed you earlier on in the kitchen. I have a bell on it, it's just lovely objet, and it acts as a nice sort of console. Okay, so you've seen where I live. Now I want to take you to come and see where I work, just around the corner. Go and have a look. Welcome to Jermaine Gallagher headquarters. I rather love the shape of these buildings because they're old lawyers' chambers, actually. And for some reason, when, as soon as I saw it, I was like, it has to be pink. So the pink that you see on the walls is called Madeleine's. And then I put together these two, uh, my desk, which I thought had to be separate from everybody else's because I got a bit of illusions of grandeur, it's quite neat. And then the desk in the middle where everyone else sits around. Uh, first proper piece of furniture were these original prototype chairs by uh, Tom Dixon. A bit sort of punchy and a bit punky. And I just sort of couldn't bear this laminate because laminate just sort of sucks. So this was a paint effect that I'd seen in my favourite book called Paint Magic by Jocasta Innes. And she was a complete force and a complete nutter. And I love paint effects because they have this wildness to them. You can kind of see almost what mood you're in by looking at the hand. This painting I found um, a car boot, really good car boot in London. London has the best car boots. And of course the rotary telephone. I just love carrying it like that, like in the old movies. It's a right art to use though. Anyway, I need to get a new one really. I just like it for, for looks. Somehow this feels more so me, this office. It's my business card for my clients. It's your chance to shine, really, I think. My mantra and the things I apply to my work and the way I live my life are about having fun and doing what you want. And I hope my home and the office display that and you can take something away from seeing it. It's been a pleasure showing you around. Thank you. If you can't get enough of these fabulous homes and designs, then you gotta like and subscribe because we could all use a little more fabulous in our lives, right?